Welcome back, everybody. Our next guests are mental health advocates, and there's a big fundraiser coming up, bringing even bigger names to Music City. That's right. Melodies for Minds is happening at the Loveless Cafe, and we are joined today by Amy Alexander from the Refuge Center and Jason Waller with the Change Your Brain Foundation. Welcome in, guys. Thank so happy to have you. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thanks so much for having us. Um, okay, so if you are, guys are our age, maybe you might recognize this guy. <laughs> a little show called Laguna Beach. <laughs> Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We have, we have to recognize that. So thank you <laughs> for joining us. This is a really powerful event. Yes. But now you're here to talk about something very serious and meaningful. Tell yes. us about Melodies for Minds, how it came together, and of course the big event coming up too. Okay. Yeah. So Melodies for Minds, basically the Change Your Brain Foundation and the Refuge Center for Counseling have come together uh, to raise awareness on mental health. And so we thought hey, there's so many people that are struggling that are affected by this. Let's come together and help those that are in the state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. you know, get resources and have access uh, uh, to, to help, you know? Yeah. And so there's so many people out there that need the help, but they don't have the means or the resources to get the help that they need. So 100% of these proceeds from this event are gonna go to comprehensive assessments, brain scan, diagnosis, treatment plans, and then up to a year's worth of therapy on a weekly basis at the wow. Refuge Center for Counseling. Wow. So wow. it's pretty incredible. Um, we are ecstatic about it. Uh, we obviously, we got our headliner, uh, which we're able to announce, which is Walker Hayes, who's gonna be coming out and, and performing. And um, it's just, it's incredible to see how the communities come together though, and mm -hmm. such an important topic. And I think for us, I'll speak for both of us, we're just, we're, you know, to create systemic change, you got to start the conversation. Mm -hmm. And and for us, it's it's not only talking about it, but it's having action behind it. Um, there's too many people that are struggling, um, and we're we're sick and tired of seeing people dying. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. it's something that really needs to change. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, you recently posted on Instagram <clears throat> about addiction and how you quote almost died. You have family that's almost died. I mean, this is a really personal topic for you. Well, it, it, it is, and I mean, but I also think it's it's looking at addiction is the leading cause of death in America for 50 year old individuals and younger. You know, and so it's like, how many? Like, what else is it going to take? How much more alarming or bigger does this need to be? I mean, the amount of suicides that are happening, everything's only been increasing. The amount of overdoses has only been increasing. Um, you know, and for people, it's even understanding addiction. It is a disease. It is primary. It's chronic. It's progressive and it's fatal. You know, and so if you look at that, it's it's really bringing light to that. And there's so many people that are struggling that that don't have a way out. And again, I'm not against people that can enjoy themselves and, 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 and partake, but I'm, I am somebody that advocates and sticks up for people that are in that bondage, that are, that are, that are stuck, that mm -hmm. can't get out. When you're stuck in active addiction, it is a horrible, miserable place to be. And my disease took me, it robbed me from everything, and it took me to the lowest points of, of trying to commit suicide, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think it's, it's being a, a beacon of hope for those that are lost mm -hmm. and allowing them to know that there's a greater life on the outside. And, uh, you don't have to surround yourself with drugs and alcohol to, to have fun. Your brain produces more potent chemicals than heroin. You just got to let it work. Gosh, you said bondage. That's such a meaningful mm. word. You can see that, you know, yeah. in your mind. Amy, you've been dealing with mental health for a long time with the Refuge Center. You yeah. see 4,000 plus clients, you know, yearly. Yeah. You're also with this trying to really change the stigma and make mm -hmm. it more science-leaning, uh, mm -hmm. I should say, if that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. Explain that a little bit mm -hmm. more. Well, I think for so long we thought of mental health as that thing over there, that person that had a breakdown. They had to go to the hospital. But we know everyone has mental health. We will all, at some point in our life, face a challenge, a crisis, a loss, and we don't need to do that alone. And so we're pairing together to make sure that people have access to the very best care, and not just people with money, but people who would not otherwise be able to access services. So again, this, this program allows the clients with the greatest financial need to go get this brain scan probably at the Atlanta or Chicago clinic and then to have a year of free therapy at the Refuge Center. That follow through, that yeah. follow up is so, so important. We had the Refuge Center on Local That's on right. 2 right after Covenant yeah. the shooting, horrible shooting. Yeah. And we always talked about how we need to check in with our neighbors. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. So what have you seen since that tragedy here within our community? Mm, well, I think COVID es escalated the conversation as did that tragedy. I saw churches talking about it on Sunday mornings. Of course, we've had lots of invitations to come speak at corporations mm -hmm. and local businesses. And so we're, we're thrilled. Anytime that we can get out and spread the message and encourage people to say, I need support, I need help, I'm struggling, I don't feel like myself, 
and there's there's just so much help available. Mm -hmm. I love it. And of course, we have to say this event is going to be fun yes. too. Yes. You're going to have it music. So you're going to have Walker Hayes. It, you're going to be there. It is a great fun event to raise money for a good cause. Oh, 100. Yeah. percent yeah. It's going to be an awesome time. We're going to have games. We're going to have. It's going to be a, a, a night that's that's worth worth attending for sure. If Jason's awesome. involved, it's going to be. A it's going to be a party. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so Amy, thank much you. for being here. You guys. If you would like to participate in Melodies for Minds, visit refugecenter.org and click on events. This local